Hi there guys, my name is Blank and welcome to the PMGC Pro Class. In this episode, we are going to be breaking down a little bit of gameplay from two pro teams in the PMGC. And what we're specifically going to be looking at here is creating space and what exactly does that mean at the global stage and how you guys at home can learn from it and maybe add it to your own games. So to do this, let's take a look at two teams, Emma Strabury as well as Tong Jiabao and break down both teams' play styles. Looking purely Emma Strumbury in this situation, you can see it's a little bit rough already. They're at the bottom of this slope, and it's all about control for them right now. They would love to take this high ground and be able to get up there and play the rest of the game out from a very, very good position that has a lot of information gathering potential. But they need to be patient about it. And to get up there, they're going to need some smokes. Smokes are probably some of the most important pieces of utility in the entire game, even more so than frag grenades, and use them to get into position is absolutely vital. Repeat that, smokes are vital for getting to position. For MSC to creep up this little slope side, they're going to need those smokes not only to deny sightlines from Tong Jiabao, but from the surrounding teams around them. You want to be denying sightlines not only from the team you're attacking, but any other sneaky team that might be trying to take a flank onto you as you're making this play. Now the MS Trumbury, they're up on top. They're on this playing field now alongside Tong Jiabao. So working on a team means playing as a team. And Ponzai, he's got his little duty ahead of him. He is being the flanker here. His role isn't necessary to get a lot of eliminations like you might expect. It's instead to create space for the team by adding another threat elsewhere in the scenario that Tong Jiabao now has to deal with. It makes this fight a lot less easy for Tong Jiabao to anticipate. Talk a bit Tong Jiabao, let's focus on, on them a little bit. They've pulled back to the two-story concrete here and left a part of the compound open for Emma's Chumburi. But it's a trap, guys. We've talked about creating space before and now we can talk about giving up space for your own advantage. Tong Jiabao placed themselves in a very defensible spot with a sheer wall between them and Emma's Chumburi. By giving up this space slowly, much of the utility of Emma Strumbury has already been used up and now they can no longer force that one-sided fight very quickly because they don't have those big nades, those smokes to get into position available for them. Emma Strumbury can no longer leave, even if they'd like to. There are teams all around them and playing within these buildings is, is the only realistic way that they're going to be able to deny those sight lines. But it's now allowed Sir and Attacker from Tong Jiabao to lock them down on either side of dreaded war. It really is bad, guys. Remember, having an anchor for the team is also extremely important. So let's like, take a look where Lons is currently playing from Tong Jiabao. This role is essentially played as a very well-guarded spot within a placement compound to immediately relieve pressure from the rest of the team and be able to gain a little bit of that what is it? Space back for them. So, should the rest of the team need to fall back, Lons is on duty with a nade in hand. Luckily, though, for Lons, he gets to play a big role in this fight because Manhan has been able to feed information back to him. Remember, communication is key and gives him just the right timing to hit a chunky grenade onto the members of Emma Strumbury. This grenade removes one potential threat from Emma Strumbury, causing them to scramble. They now need to get into a better position to hold back the players of Tong Jiabao. But Utility Master Lons isn't going to let that happen, and he immediately cuts off the escape on not only the Anok player, but any other player from Emma Strumbury with this beautiful Molotov here. Now, Molotovs don't always have to eliminate players. They just need to, and remember that key phrase, create space for the team or deny space for the enemy team. Now, with all that information in hand that Manhan has been gathering this entire time, attacker from Tong Jiabao is able to Ferrari peek around this corner. And it's a simple case of just lighting this corridor up right now. Top from Chong MS Chumburi managed to escape for just the briefest of moments, but there's no way that Tong Jiabao is going to let up after having such a fantastic holdout on Miramar versus MS Chumburi and they quickly clean up the final player.
So that is the entirety of that clip available to you guys. You can watch it back if you want to learn a little bit more, maybe do your own in-depth analysis, but it's all about creating that space, how you use that space, do you give it up, when to take it, and when to deny it. It is all that simple, at least I'd like to say, but we do have to take these moments to figure out and break it down, and I will catch you very, very soon. Bye-bye.